Welcome back to my channel. So I'm very excited today. I'm gonna to be sharing my first ever chemical peel experience. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty nervous, but my appointment is in a couple of hours and I wanna take y'all along for the ride. Um, if you don't know what a chemical peel is, it's literally like a, a controlled burn on your skin to get your skin to peel for about a week and then you're left with like new fresh skin and the reason why i'm really considering it is to get rid of these acne spots guys i've been going through it clearly um i've been sharing more like up-to-date day-to-day things on instagram but i don't know i turned 27 and then all of a sudden my body is like i can't deal with dairy so if i eat dairy the same way i used to which was like every meal of every day <laughs> I will just absolutely break out, especially these here on my cheeks. My esthetician told me that these here are usually based off of digestion and then these here are hormonal. So I kind of go through both. Thankfully, you can see that I have only one, maybe like two, I would call this like a half, one and a half active bumps on my skin because I've obviously figured it out and I've been doing a lot better. So I'm excited. I have found an esthetician here. Uh, she's at Skin by Lauren. She works at Bespoke Aesthetics. And yeah, I'm gonna take y'all with me. I'm a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie, because you hear the horror stories <laughs> of people getting chemical peels and their faces actually getting like second or third degree burns to their skin. And like, that's not, that's not what I'm trying to do, please Lord. But I do trust Lauren. I do wanna say, quick disclaimer, chemical peels are not for everybody. You need to go to somebody you trust, a professionally licensed esthetician. Um, and also go to somebody who's not gonna rush you into a chemical peel. I've had that issue before. The first esthetician I tried to go to, she literally looked at me and she was like, nothing's gonna work for your skin other than a chemical peel, so we'll have to do that today. And I just felt like that kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Like I, I get that chemical peels are uh, the most effective when it comes to getting rid of your dark spots and helping with your acne and all that stuff. But I don't know, it just rubbed me the absolute wrong way when I went to Lauren first time she's like yeah I absolutely do not do chemical peels on people the very first time that I see them so she actually sent me home on our last visit which was about a month ago she sent me home with some really bougie products that have been amazing I mean y'all see my skin glowing I will say besides the dark spots my skin has been glowing it's flourishing it's happy it's it's balanced as well it's not overly juicy it's just glowy and beautiful and smooth and I'm obsessed with it I just need to get rid of these dark spots now so i'm excited i trust lauren we're gonna go through it together okay so i'm excited i'm nervous but so i go. wanted to ask about the chemical peel i'm like nervous yeah. <laughs> it's my Most first people one are on their first on their first chemical peel yeah so this peel when we put it on your skin mm -hmm. I'm gonna have a fan on you, so okay. it's very tolerable and it's almost gonna feel like icy hot. Okay. Like you'll feel that there's some heat going on in the skin, but the fan is gonna cool it down. Okay. okay. So I like doing this for first timers because mm -hmm. you get a really nice peel, okay. but you don't have the shock during the treatment, right? Okay. Now chemical peels are a process. Yes. Okay. Okay. So you are gonna. At first, you're gonna be like, oh, this is so cool. Mm -hmm. Like seeing the skin come off. Yeah. And then by day five, most people are like, okay, I'm over this. Oh. <laughs> so it is a process. Um, you're gonna let the skin peel off naturally. Okay. There are ways to manage it. So you can use some cuticle scissors or like those little grooming scissors to trim it back. Okay. Um, but I don't want you prematurely peeling the skin off, okay? okay? That can lead to scarring and dark marks and lots of pain, and we don't want that. Yeah, okay. And this is one that works well for like darker skin types and everything. Oh, yes. Okay. Excited? I'm very excited. I'm so sick of these dark spots, and I feel like I've finally gotten like a hold on my acne a little bit. It really is the dairy. So when I do eat dairy i try to limit it but when i do i drink like extra amounts of water and i find that that's like what's working for me right now Good. plus the products you gave me my skin is like thriving so Good. i'm just ready to get rid of the dark spots i know it's helpful once you find your triggers because mm -hmm. then you know okay well is this piece of pizza gonna be worth it exactly 
Is it feeling okay? Yeah, it feels yeah. fine. I was gonna ask how my skin looks to you. It looks good. Yeah? It looks really healthy. It looks a lot smoother. Yeah, oh my gosh, so much smoother. Mm -hmm. Do you see a difference in how your makeup applies? Yes, like I actually got friends asking me like, what are you wearing? It looks airbrushed. I'm like, oh, thank you. It's actually the skin. <laughs> right. <laughs> are there any other benefits to peels than just getting rid of like hyperpigmentation? 100%. So they help with acne. They help with fine lines and wrinkles, overall rejuvenation of the skin. Um, I really like them a lot too for building collagen. So even for my clients that don't, you know, need a lot of corrective treatments, we'll still do a peel once or twice a year just to, you know, shed some dead layers. Uh -huh. All right, how's it feeling on a scale of one to 10? I'd say a one right now. Good. I don't really feel much of anything. I can feel the icy hot now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So when you're going through the peeling process, not only is your skin going to be peeling, but you are going to have some inflammation. It's, it's not uncommon for your skin to be a little pink or a little red. Okay. Um, it's just induced inflammation from the peel and it will go away. Okay. So feeling good? Yep. I'd say right now it just feels like no more than a four, three or four. All right, so here you have on these little breakouts in areas of hyperpigmentation, mm -hmm. you have these little white dots here. Okay. So that is really good for those areas. It normally happens on areas of trauma to the skin. Mm -hmm. So acne, hyperpigmentation. The peel has penetrated deep into the dermis and mm -hmm. coagulates with protein. And that's why you see that white little oh yeah see those little white spots yeah um so that's a good thing it's traveled deeper into the skin there and it's going to do a lot of healing okay, okay? so were but, these like future bumps that were going to come possibly or, okay yeah but you can also see right here on this little oh yeah guy, you can see that he also blanched as wow. well and over here Interesting. so, so this um, is where you were saying it is good for acne mm-hmm Gotcha. Yeah, for sure. All right, and that's it. That's it. That felt like we were here for like five minutes. <laughs> right? I know. They're so fast, but the magic happens in the next seven days. Right. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. All Thank right. you. You're welcome. Y'all, how cute is Lauren, by the way? She's so cute. She's so... I just... I love her. Uh, but my skin literally looks and feels pretty normal, apart from just a little bit tight right now. Um, overall, I was expecting the treatment to be more painful, so I'm glad that it wasn't. I was really nervous, but now I'm feeling really excited to see what the peeling process is like and seeing the results and everything. Um, so for the rest of the night, I don't really do anything. She said to skip my regimen tonight. She sent me home with like a special sunscreen and a special moisturizer. And yeah, we just wait for the skin to peel. So I will check back in with you guys tomorrow and every day as we go along with this process. Okay y'all, hello, it is the next day. Don't mind my hair, it's crazy. I was expecting not to be seen for these, this like week, I cleared my schedule, but then forgot the fact that I am creating content, I'm blogging, <laughs> anyways, I look crazy, that's besides the fact. So today's actually day two. Yesterday on the day of the chemical peel, I was calling it day zero, but that's actually day one which is all explained here in the patient post peel instructions that she gave me yesterday so yesterday was day one day of the peel today is day two so this is how my skin looks no peeling yet clearly i just finished up doing the little um care stuff that i needed to do this morning so it's literally a super simple regimen i just had to do the cleanser and they had a post peel uh, towelette that I had to do today. This is, these I only need to use today on day two. And then they also provide a mineral sunscreen and a post peel moisturizer. So they give you all the products that you need. But yeah, so far my skin is feeling a little dry. It's feeling a little tight, not like overly tight or anything. Um, I am excited to kind of start seeing the peeling and seeing it happen. She did say day two, like today, day after the peel, is when your skin really preps to begin peeling so i am excited okay guys day three 
and the peeling has just begun. Literally, I woke up and this wasn't even here. I woke up 20 minutes ago and this wasn't even here. And I was like, why am I not peeling? And then like literally took her super walkies, came back inside and boom. I have not worn moisturizer since I got the chemical peel. She did say like kind of use it as needed. Um, and she also said that if I don't feel like I need it, uh, not using a moisturizer can actually help you peel faster and I'm hoping that's the case here Yeah, all I have right now I just washed my face this morning and put on the mineral sunscreen nighttime update y'all We peeling peeling My chin my forehead is just starting to Ramp up now and we've got a little action here. I'm just so excited for right here to peel um I will say the most annoying part is waiting for my face to peel. It is such a slow and gradual process. And also it's very hard not to just pick everything off because I really just want to pick at it. But I was told repeatedly to not do that because that's going to leave scars and just not be good overall for my skin. But mm, here's how we're looking so far. And y'all, this new skin. <gasps> oh, I feel so soft. Softer than I've ever felt my skin before. So I'm very excited for my entire face to feel this way. I look so crazy. So it's day four. Uh, tried to use my regular sunscreen today, but it burned like crazy, especially on this like area right here where it's like brand new skin. So I had to go back in with this um, mineral sunscreen that leaves a crazy white cast. So I'm peeling of a white cast and my skin looks like five different colors at the moment. <laughs> I didn't think about how much patience this process would take. Um, so what I've been doing today is just kind of clipping off excess dead skin. That's allowed. We can't pick it, but we can kind of cut off any excess if it's like a big flake or whatever. So I've been doing that, but I just feel like I want the process to hurry up. So one thing you need for chemical peel is definitely patience because it is a slow very very slow process all this like red darker skin still needs to be peeled um i'm starting to slowly reach towards my dark spots now so i'm excited to see how much uh will actually peel off it's just a process and the results are gonna be worth it i know that for sure so this is day four morning update hello day five <laughs> it's happening we are peeling y'all okay i would say between yesterday and today have been my heaviest peel days because look at it happening so this is all new skin and then not yet peeled skin and i have like a random circle here that decided to peel <laughs> uh but yeah this is how it's going okay what i'm noticing so far is that Number one, this is freshly peeled skin. So obviously it doesn't take away like all the dark spots, but I would say they're definitely a little bit lighter. I think I did take a lot of before content so we can get into a little bit of a before and after uh, comparison so we can see like how much lighter are my dark spots. I don't know if I have enough patience to make this like a, a super regular thing that I do for my skin because y'all seven days it's a long time it's a long time and i'm tired of peeling my skin feels like super dry so i'm constantly throughout the day i'm adding more sunscreen and more moisturizer like the special stuff that they gave me but like i'm at the point now where i'm like okay it's day five like i want my skin to be back to normal oh my god um i'm sure once like it is back to normal i'll be like oh it's fine i'll do it again you know but going through the process i just like i i don't know if i have enough patience uh so yeah that's the update today getting a little impatient but progress is happening and so far i'm pretty happy with what i see okay y'all day six. Oh my god it's so hard to smile because look at how dry and crud this is not peeling because this is already peeled this is just like straight up dryness hold on let me get my moisturizer like my new skin is so dry i literally have to reapply this special moisturizer every hour or so because my skin is just so dry but i think that's to be expected with like freshly new skin 
because all of this is peeled. I'm so excited we're making it. So it's literally just kind of going down my neck a little bit here. And then we just have to finish up peeling the very sides of my face. And then that's it. I'm pretty sure my forehead is like basically done except for kind of like this very outer layer. We're almost done y'all and I am so excited because I'm ready for this process to be over. I'm actually really pissed that I also have a new bump here. I actually found out that skin purging after a chemical peel is actually normal. This little bump went away after a couple of days. I ain't mad no more. So anyways, yeah, we are doing good and just chugging along. Okay, friends, day seven and we have made it, y'all. We've made it. I am very happy right now. My skin feels really good. I'm going to put a little shot maybe on this side here so we can kind of look and compare my dark spots but just me like looking in the mirror right now they do definitely look lighter so i am happy about that i did want to say like do you have to do a chemical peel to get rid of dark spots obviously no this treatment is not necessarily for everybody so i definitely suggest you do your own research if this is something that you are considering do your own research and make sure you're going to an esthetician that you trust i just loved how lauren my current esthetician was like no i'm gonna prep your skin she put me on some really bougie products actually let me show you them so these are the products here that she had me on it's a brand called zo skin health bomb.com okay honestly my skin already just by using new products consistently have been absolutely amazing let me know if you guys would actually be interested in seeing my updated routine because i have kind of fit these into my regimen along with a couple of other things like y'all know how much i love my skin fix so let me know if you're interested in an updated skincare routine comment below and i will come through with that but i'm excited to continue kind of transforming my skin with more consistent use of these products and potentially maybe like a couple other treatments we were talking about micro needling the other time as well what? um so yeah overall chemical peel process i feel like uh something to keep in mind you need to have patience for sure and yeah you just have to make sure that you are dedicating basically that entire week to making sure that you're taking care of your skin i was not able to sweat or anything so could not work out so just keep all of that in mind if you really are going to do it like the downtime is serious but the results are great my skin looks and feels amazing it feels like smoother than it ever has before and i am loving so yeah would i do it again potentially the downtime was so long though it was really really hard for my schedule to kind of align with this luckily um i was able to pre-film a lot of like campaigns and all that stuff yeah that would be the only thing that i would need to consider is can my schedule allow for me to actually do this i don't think i would do it more than like once a year uh, but I am glad I did it. I'm glad I experienced it and my skin is actually feeling really, really nice. So I'm excited to continue going along my skincare journey. I've been finding like dairy-free alternatives here and there, which I have been sharing on Instagram. So if you're not following me on there, make sure you fix that today. And then, yeah, so it's just my skin journey. Here we are. Minus this, y'all, my skin looks so good. Hey guys, that is basically my chemical peel journey. Lauren, thank you so much. I love you, girl. If you're in the Atlanta area and you want to check out an esthetician, I have tagged all her details below. And yeah, guys, this is fun, interesting, and you know, the skin journey continues, okay? So thanks so much for watching. I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye.